Alright guys, I just want to show you, this is my Honda 1996 Honda Accord, two-door, automatic. Uh, I just went ahead and decided with a few extra hundred bucks that I won from football, I'm going to buy something nice for myself. So I decided I want to um, replace my original steering wheel which is the ugly piece of old crap that's already uh, dry rotted and ugly looking so this is what I bought it's an NRG hub adapter um, it's also a um, um, removable design where as you can see here here's the back side of the aftermarket steering wheel um, that's what it looks like when you install it already to the steering wheel uh, the cool thing about this is that um, that when you ready to install it when you're ready to install it um, all you I don't know if you notice you see this see this thing right here that's the um, lock button in order to release I'll show you in a little bit but um, but right now it sits on the um, lock, uh, open position so all I have to do now after I took it off is that it sits like that and uh, all I have to do now when I'm ready I put it on like that twist it around a little bit push it in and that's it and you notice that pin low while I showed you right there now it pops now it's this thing right here it's not sitting over that that, that, that that release button. So you should push it down like that. Now to release, to take it off, what I do is you put your you would put your fingers back here and you would push it up like like that. Push it up. Now this is this button is set right there to um, to um, prevent from accidentally um, you know steering wheel falling off or whatever. Um, but if you really want to take it off, you push it up and at the other and use your other finger to push it down and then push it up more further to pass that button. There you go. And now it's really completely unlocked. And then you can pull the steering wheel off. I'm trying to, it's hard to it's hard to uh, do it while I'm holding the camera. But that's what it looks like when it's totally 100% um, unlocked. And then it'll allow you to pull it off. Now, back here, if you note, I don't know if you can see here. Yeah, the ball bearings. See the ball bearings? There's six. I think that thing focus right here. There's six ball bearings on top and four on the bottom. Okay. Now, you have to align that up right. For example, let's say if I, I want to install it. Uh, like this like upside down or whatever not in the right not 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 lining up with the, all the ball bearings it goes in but it doesn't go in all the way you see that so and then you can you can actually pop it right out back out and uh, and uh, that sounds not good but anyway let me reset it I need two hands. There you go. Reset it back in its lock position. And then now I'm going to install it the correct way. And there you go. And now you can see. See? It pop. It pop. This piece right here. It pops. It's not sitting up here anymore. Here's that button. So it pops down. That means it locks in correctly. Now it's locked. I'm gonna try to pull it off. Nope, I can't do it because it's locked in already, and that's the the right procedure of um, installing and and removing and and, uh, and and replacing the steering wheel. Alrighty, hope that helps you guys, and uh, I'm really excited and uh, happy that I replaced the steering wheel. The um, diameter of this aftermarket steering wheel is a little smaller, so I have more. I have, uh, well, I can 
racing lower the steering column so but now but anyway i have more leg room for those who like you know a lot of space right here between your leg and the steering so um yeah it's nice i really like it i just test drove it around the block and uh awesome and the grip right here it's just really sporty feeling and uh, i can't wait to take it on the freeway and just test it out a little more but uh it seems everything's fine and working great um it does have a horn um but it's just a little too complicated for me to to work uh, to um, to install it because of the way the wiring is, di is different than some other cars it's not as simple but and i don't really care about the horn i have to sacrifice the horn and also the cruise control so those things i really don't use much so i don't really care only thing i don't like is that um i don't i have a um, um i have a um, SRS airbag lights that's gonna stay on That's gonna stay on every time I drive so I'm not gonna I don't know until I Get annoyed by it then I'll I'll, I'll, I'll find a way to get rid of it But right now all I care is that I got the nice steering wheel on and I'm gonna enjoy it for a little while All right, hope that helps and I'll talk to you later. Bye